These $100 bills are actually counterfeit, the photo provided by law enforcement. If I tried to spend one of these bills at a business, I'd be committing a felony. So what if we treated counterfeit people generated by AI like we do counterfeit cash? A malicious actor could use your likeness. A deep fake video of the Arizona Secretary of State looks like the real thing. Is this content real? It's not, but instead, part of a presentation Adrian Fontes hosted earlier this year to show how bad actors could use someone's image and likeness to sow confusion during an election. Uh, I don't have any doubt uh, that folks are going to try to get away with those shenanigans here in Arizona. It might be shocking to know there is still no federal law on the books that bans or regulates deep fakes. The problem that we are facing with these technologies is people started adopting and using them long before we can figure out how to regulate them. Professor Sarah Florini at ASU's Lincoln Center for Applied Ethics says existing laws relating to truth in advertising can be used to prosecute people for AI videos, but experts also agree that's not enough. Since we're spending so much of our time online, we're suckers. Before his death earlier this year, a widely respected scientist and philosopher, Daniel Dennett, proposed the U.S. criminalize the creation of counterfeit people the same way it does for counterfeit money. I think the prospect of serious harm to the, the fabric of civilization it, it, it is right here. If you treated counterfeit people like counterfeit money, it seems like it would prevent a lot of deceit and fraud. What's your response to that idea? So the issue is it becomes a difficult analogy. The kind of technologies that this author is calling counterfeit people is really uh, an extension of things that we have been dealing with for a long time, whether that's Photoshop. There are a lot of different versions of quote-unquote fake people. Also, it opens up a series of questions about then what do you do about media industries, what do you do about art. But obviously there's a difference between manipulating my image to wear these awesome goggles, just play it cool, have a ton of Joes explain image manipulation, and a different video altogether. Someone faking an image of me to tell you a lie about a candidate or the elections. Another proposal would require AI creators to put watermarks on videos that are manipulated. I think that's a great idea. There is always this push and pull to find a happy medium. Meanwhile, this month, Microsoft urged lawmakers to quickly pass a comprehensive deep fake fraud statute to protect Americans. In the meantime, whether it's consumer scams, conspiracies, or election interference, the potential for deceit is wide reaching. So just what are our elected officials doing about this? Several proposals in Congress are stalled, and a few states have passed laws that only partially address the issue. Joe Dana, 12 News.